Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. If your Windows updates are stuck at 0%, 90%, 80%, any kind of issues with installing updates, downloading updates, and if it's stuck, this video is for you. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will be able to fix this issue by yourself in a very quick minute. So the very first thing here in the search icon, you just need to type troubleshoot. So here type troubleshoot in the search and you will find troubleshoot settings. That's the first step which we are going to do. Now once you're here, you will find other troubleshoot. We just need to click on that and you will find windows updates and you just need to click on run. Now this windows 11 troubleshooter is really a very powerful effective tool which you can do it at the first place. Now for most of them it will work. There might be a possibility that this doesn't work for you. So it will take some time and once it will start diagnostic, once it is done, you just need to restart the computer and see if you're able to update your Windows 11 or not. And if you still have issues, we will move to the next step. Now for that, either you can press Windows and R key or simply do a right click in the start icon and go to run. Now here we need to type services.msc. Once you have typed it, hit enter. Now the services window will open and here we are looking for windows update service. So select any of the service, press W and look for windows update. I can find it right here. I'll just do a right click, go to properties and here if it's selected manual, disable or delayed, just select it to automatic, click on apply and then OK. Once this is done, do a right click on the windows update again and click on restart. So you have just refreshed the whole windows update service and once this is done, you need to restart the computer and see if you're able to update your windows or not. And if you still have issues, then the third and very powerful step is you just need to search in the command prompt CMD and then run as a administrator and then click on yes. And here we need to type net space stop space W U A U S E R V. Let me just maximize it so that you can see net space stop w u a u s e r v and then hit enter now the windows update is going to be stopped and once this is stopped click on this file explorer i'll just maximize and go to this pc and here we have this windows c drive where your operating system is installed look for a folder name windows and here we are going to software distribution in windows folder so here we have the software distribution now this is a location where all of your windows update gets downloaded and gets installed to the operating system now what we need to do is here we can create a folder on the desktop just to be in safer side we will cut all those files and folders and paste it right here so i just have made the folder and I'll go back here, I'll press Ctrl A to select all and I'll do a right click and I'll click on cut. And then I'll close and I'll just paste it here. Now I'll just select do this for all current items and I'll click on continue. Now I have successfully placed everything here and if I go back to the same windows and then software distribution. So here we have software distribution and I do not have anything here. Now it's time to reactivate the service and for that you just need to type net space start space w u a u s e r v. Let me just maximize it. So once you have typed it hit enter and the windows update service is starting and it says windows update service has started successfully. Now you just need to restart the computer and try to update your windows and I'm sure you will be able to update your windows 
please hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video and leave a comment if this has worked for you i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day